The CW isn't known for producing the highest quality of content, especially in the superhero market. But have they reached an all-time low and created possibly the worst show yet? What's up Nerdgenic Nation, Superhero Nerd Aaron Waller here, and today I wanted to talk about the latest DC series to grace the small screen, Gotham Knights. Honestly, I put off watching this show for as long as I could handle, but my superhero curiosity got the best of me as it usually does, and I broke down and watched the first episode. Now before we dive in, I do want to preface and clarify that we're talking about Gotham Knights the TV series, and not the video game of the same name that came out at the end of 2022. And very quickly, I for one find it super weird that they named it the same exact thing as the game, and it only makes finding information about this series even more difficult as it's buried under all the video game content. That is unless you clarify that you're looking for the TV show, in which case information is still very limited. It's like as if DC didn't really want to promote or even have you know about this show. But guess what DC, I do, and I'm guessing that you do too if you're watching this video. Anyway, Gotham Knights is the story of Bruce Wayne being murdered and his adopted son forging an alliance with the children of Batman's enemies. As the city becomes more dangerous, these mismatched fugitives will become the next generation of saviors known as the Gotham Knights. Now I was in no way looking forward to this series. It just looked horrible and combined a lot of left field concepts, and that's exactly what Gotham Knights is. It brings in another adopted child of Bruce Wayne that I have certainly never heard of before, along with concepts of children of Batman's rogues gallery like the Joker's daughter, and an amalgamation of comic book characters and others who just happen to have the exact skill set to be able to be useful for whatever the situation may need. Imagine, if you will, the Adam West Batman utility belt and Batcave, filled with all sorts of random things that he can pull out for any situation that you can think of, just as people. That's exactly what Gotham Knights is. It manages to take a dark world and add a very unique sense of teen angst and make it the center of the show. Gotham Knights even feels as though it might have been written in crayon, and that some of the dialogue and even some of the way the scenes play out, such as how Batman's adopted son discovers the Batcave and how they end up getting into some more difficult situations. Even with Batman himself, though we never truly see him, but how they portray aspects of the mask and suit feel very weird and very cheap. It's as if they were trying to combine aspects of the Batman suit and the suit from the end of Gotham, but simultaneously making them both worse. Now so far in this video I've harped pretty bad on the show, but there are a few things that I can mildly get behind and appreciate. The overall look of the show isn't necessarily terrible. The darker aspect of the show, similar again to Gotham, makes a lot of sense but it still feels like they're just ripping off a better property and calling it their own. And then there's Misha Collins of Supernatural fame, who plays Harvey Dent and eventually Two-Face, which is again a big reason why I was even interested in this show to begin with. And while I can't wait for that transformation, it's a bit odd to hold back so heavily on that character who will essentially never interact with Batman at the height of his insanity. And the last thing that I thought was respectable is that there's a trans person and character in the show, to which they acknowledge but also point out to not use the character's dead name but rather their chosen name, and I think that was pretty inclusive of them. And to be honest, I didn't even know that the actor or even the character was trans, but they mildly acknowledged it in a very respectable manner, at least in my opinion. Now I don't know if I'll end up keeping up with Gotham Knights, though I am curious to see where it goes and what potential storylines they will try to explore, but I feel like the series will likely just be a one and done season. It's poorly written, has some pretty terrible acting throughout, is very cheesy, and just has a cringe factor that feels nearly off the charts. Then again, there have been plenty of other shows that I've felt that same exact way about, including Legends of Tomorrow and Titans, which do have good aspects to them, but not enough to go on for too long, though both have been able to stretch for multiple seasons. But who knows, it could end up sticking- but who knows, Gotham Knights could end up sticking around, but from what I saw and am hearing online, I won't expect it to last too long. So those are my thoughts on the first episode and just initial feeling that I get from Gotham Knights, and now I want to hear from you in the Nerdgenic community. Have you watched Gotham Knights? If so, do you think I was being too harsh, or do you think it has the potential to just get better and this was just the first episode? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the Nerdgenic team. And also be sure to give us a follow across all social media platforms at Nerdgenic. That way you don't miss out on any special news, announcements, or articles at nerdgenic.com. But in the meantime, if you want even more video content from us, check out our latest video, or for more DC content, check out this playlist right over here. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, we really do appreciate it, we hope to see you in the next video.